Good morning, Mrs. Garcia. Buenos días, doctor. What brings you here today? Ay, doctor, creo que estoy muy mal. Llevo casi una semana sintiéndome muy débil, con un malestar general. Let's see. Are you currently taking any medication? Sí, doctor. Aquí las traje todas, en una bolsita. Ok, let's take a look at them. Mira, estoy tomando esta y esta. Y esta se me terminó la semana pasada. Ok, good. I'm glad you brought your medication with you. Now I need to examine you, ok? Please undo your blouse. I need to listen to your lungs. Ok. They seem fine. There's no strange sound there. Let's see. Take a deep breath. Again, please. Now hold your breath. Like that. That's fine. You can breathe normally again. Now I'm going to check your blood pressure. Me la tomaron la última vez. ¿Es necesario realizarlo otra vez? Yes, it's necessary to check it every time you have a doctor's visit. Now please pull up your sleeve. Okay, it looks fine. Pero doctor, ¿qué puedo hacer para sentirme mejor? Ya no puedo soportarlo. No puedo seguir así. Realmente no puedo hacer nada. Have you been eating like you're supposed to? Three meals a day? Sí, como bien. And what about your bowel movements? Are you regular? Bueno, yo siempre estoy un poco estreñida. How often do you have a bowel movement? Sobre dos o tres veces a la semana, pero incluso a veces solo voy una vez al baño a la semana y me duele mucho. I see. And how is your stool? Is it dark or tarry? Are you experiencing any rectal bleeding? A veces es oscura y en ocasiones hay un poco, un poquito de sangre. ¿Qué significa eso? ¿Es algo malo? Mm, rectal bleeding refers to the passage of red blood from the anus. Often mixed with stool and the blood clots, it is called rectal bleeding because the rectum lies immediately above the anus. And although red blood in the stool indeed may be coming from the rectum, it also may be coming from other parts of the gastrointestinal tract. The severity of rectal bleeding, in other words, the quantity of blood that is passed, may vary. Most blood in the stool or rectal bleeding are mild and stop on their own. Generally, mild rectal bleeding can be evaluated and treated without hospitalization or the need for urgent diagnosis and treatment. However, moderate or severe rectal bleeding usually is evaluated and treated in hospital. The main reason for this is because it can quickly deplete a patient's body of blood, leading to symptoms of weakness, dizziness, near fainting, and signs of low blood pressure or orthostatic hypertension, which refers to a drop in blood pressure when going from the sitting or lying position to a standing position. Rarely, the bleeding may be so severe as to cause shock from the loss of blood. Ya tengo miedo. ¿Por qué tengo heces con sangre? Well, it's never a good sign to have a bloody stool. Causes of blood in the stool range from harmless, annoying conditions of the gastrointestinal tract, such as hemorrhoids, to serious conditions such as cancer. We will need to run some tests and do some evaluations. Don't worry, we'll get it taken care of. Vale, ¿y qué hacemos? Well, I'm going to order some lab work for tomorrow. You will need to bring your stool samples in three days in a row, or all three together. In the meantime, take a teaspoonful of this mineral oil every night. You have to drink a, abundant liquids throughout the day, and try not to get constipated. Eat fruit and vegetables and food with fiber. That will help move your bowels, and you'll start to enjoy a general feeling of well-being. ¿Y qué pasará si todo eso no me cura? Let's just take it one step at a time. We'll have to wait until we get your lab results back before we can do anything else at the moment. Vale, entiendo, pero... ¿Podré tomar cada día una cerveza? Well, it's not a good idea. You have to remember that it's important to maintain a healthy lifestyle. It would be advisable to exercise regularly and play some type of sport. Pero no me gusta hacer deporte. Soy muy patosa para eso. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to play football or basketball, for example. You can simply take a walk with your husband or with your grandchildren. De acuerdo. 
Además a mi marido le vendría bien perder unos kilos andando. Me gustaría pasar más tiempo con mis nietos, llevarlos al parque, por ejemplo. ¿Y la ex -women? Sí, un poco. Antes de casarme solía ir a nadar. En cuanto me casé, dejé la natación. La verdad es que me gustaría volver a nadar. Es un buen to get your, get your youth back and you'll start to feel younger. Also, it will help you strengthen your muscles and bones. ¿Y usted me podría proporcionar algunas vitaminas? Of course, try these and let me know how they work. Gracias. Además, le quería preguntar a usted sobre el problema de mi nieto. Él tiene un lunar que, le está, que se le está haciendo cada vez más grande. Estamos bastante preocupados por él. Ok. Tomorrow afternoon I have an opening in my schedule. And when you bring in your stool sample, you can also bring your grandchildren, your grandchild in, so that I can have a look at that mole. Fantástico. Mañana vendremos a la consulta. Gracias por todo. Don't mention it. It's my job. Nunca creí que los médicos aquí podrían ser tan amables. Yo pensaba que podría tener algún tipo de problema al venir al médico. Pero no es así, en absoluto. I'm here to help you with whatever you need. Muchas gracias. Hasta mañana.